morning again. So uh, here's Manazart. Uh, I'm here to uh, teach you uh, one of um, another uh, character from uh, Walt Disney. So the one we did before it was um, uh, Mickey Mouse. Today we're going to do Mickey Mouse girlfriend, so Minnie Mouse. And um, so um, you just need to uh, uh, again follow me follow my instruction but if you want to change uh, mm, something that you really want to because you don't like the way I did it or you want to change it because just because you want to please feel free to do it um, what we need today is um, again we need a, a pink palette we need um, white black uh, I use uh, yellow as well uh, any type of yellow is fine um, and then blue and then red and yellow and they are acrylic um, then um, what else do we need is uh, I have a water pot uh, we don't really need a water pot today but um, in case uh, I place you know the water pot next to next to me as well but what we really need is baby wipes uh, the reason why we have to use baby wipes today is because we we're using fingers and we're not using paint brush so off you go let's start right I'm gonna follow more or less the in uh, the way that I did my Mickey Mouse so what we have to do first is let's draw a circle yeah uh, just uh, on um, in the middle of your page let's do a circle like this not right in the middle but a little bit up yeah so just right here that what I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna go um, I'm gonna go to do um, to do the top and uh, just um, yeah just on the top of the uh, circle I'm gonna make two diagonal lines going like like this so if you see they're not straight but they go a little bit diagonal yeah I'm closing the top with a semicircle shape so I'm drawing the two lines together on the top of this shape I'm going to make not right at the beginning of it I'm going to leave a tiny little gap and I make the semicircle that's the, the it looks like a head hiding behind that isn't it so on the two sides of the, um, this is the hat basically. So on the two sides of the hat, I'm going to make another two semicircles. So one is here and one is here. That's Minnie's um, ears. Right, now we have more or less the construction of Minnie's uh, face. We're going to do the details. Right. Um, what we do we're going to touch yeah um almost the um, middle of the, the head i'm going to leave a tiny little gap here and i'm going to make an m but not right in the middle so it's a side yeah so i'm going to do like one a tiny tiny little phase of the m shape and another one the other side is a bit bigger and i stop if you see i left the gap here and i stopped right in the middle the reason why I'm doing that because Minis is facing the side here, yeah? it's not facing the front. Um, now, touching the end of the last line that we made, I'm going to make another big tummy going all the way down here. Yeah, so basically, they, they look like hills, yeah, different, different uh, sides of hills. Now, I'm going to um, uh, touch uh the left hand side of the middle of mini face so it's just it's just here yeah so this is the this is the m shape and this is the point where we need to start the other um this is mini uh, nose uh, things that we're going to do so the mini nose has to be a long slide curved a bit and it goes all the way up to the other side yeah it's not going to touch the, the third hills, yeah? It's not It's not going to touch the top of the third hills, but it's actually stopping here. We're going to make a tiny little, um, tiny little C, a tiny little C shape. 
and I'm going to leave a tiny little gap and I'm going to do another flight, yeah? So Minnie's going to have, she's having fun. I think she went to the uh, playground today. Uh, so let's do a slide going like this. This is the mouth. And woo, and it's going to touch not the end of uh, the chin, but it's going to stop just a, a little bit before. Yeah, so this way. Now we're going to do the real chin, yeah, because we didn't do it yet. And the chin is going to be like touching this, this point, yeah. I'm going to do, and I'm going to go on the other, the other way as well. So now we did the chin. Well, let's adjust the chin a little bit better. So let's make it a little bit rounded at the end. Okay, so the mouth um, got a tongue, isn't it? So we need to do the tongue. Even, to um, sorry, I kept calling her Topolina because Topolina is the name that we called Minis, uh, Minnie Mouse uh, in uh, Italian. So we called Mickey Mouse Topolino and Minnie Mouse, um, sorry, Minnie Mouse, yeah, Topolina. So that's why I, uh, in my mind, as a child, uh, is uh, Topolina instead of Minnie Mouse. But yeah, so let's do, shall we call her Topolina? I think it's nice. So let's uh, do uh, Topolina or Minnie Mouse uh, tongue. So we're going to do one slide and another slide on the other side. So we got two big long slide. Now, going to the top of the nose on the other side, we're going to do, if you remember, we create for Mickey Mouse eyes, two balloons shape. Uh, we're going to do exactly the same for, for, for Minnie's, um, Topolina's uh, nose. So, not touching the top, but we're going to go a little bit down, so we're going to make a straight line, a tiny little straight line. And from here, we're creating the balloon. So, the shape is not very regular, if you see. It looks like a wibbly a little bit. Okay, so going to the other side of the nose, I'm going to make another tiny little hill, just a tiny little one. And this one is for the first Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, uh, sorry, Minnie Mouse, um, Minnie Mouse um, eye. So we're going to do another shape of the balloon, a balloon shape. One here and another tiny circle inside. Let's go on the other side and we're going to do another balloon is a party so let's make balloons everywhere isn't it now we can do the high lush so one two three that's what we didn't do for mickey mouse because mickey mouse is not is not a girl so but Minnie mouse because she's a girl she got high lush very long high lush one two and three on the other side as well now we're going to do the body Minnie's is it got a tiny little tummy like um like mickey mouse as well it's not a big tummy but it's a tiny one so let's touch the junction between the nose and the chin. So it's basically here. We're going to do a tiny little tummy. We curved the tummy. I think she had a cake already. She loves cake. She really loves cakes. And the curve that we do is, in, is going inside. Yeah, from the other side, the curve is curving in. And from the outside, it's curving out. Yeah. Okay, so now we can do the skirt. This lovely skirt is amazing, isn't it? So we're going to do, yeah, touching the uh, one side of uh, Minnie Mouse, Topolina's tummy. We're going to do one line like this. Is another another um, C shape or curved shape, yeah? And look, don't go all the way down. It has to be not too long. So it's top basically here. Now we're going to do the other side. So we're going to touch the other point of Mickey Mouse uh, chest tummy. And we're going to make another line like this. So basically, so far, they looks like um, the top of the shoes. Yeah, it looks like a shoe. It might be Mickey Mouse shoes. And then we do, we, we start to do hills, yeah, or roll coasters. That's really nice. So we start from here, not from the, the end of the point. We're going to start here. So we're going to do one roll coaster, another one. So create your own one. I'm doing my one and I'm going all the way up to the other side. So I create these curls uh, of uh, Minnie Mouse uh, skirt. Right. Now, um, Topolina or Minnie Mouse, she always got these lovely curled um, pants. So um, we're going to do that now. So I'm going to make another, uh, it looks like a flower shape or leaves shape. So I'm going to do one, 
two and three on one side so it looks like a flower uh, and straight or big curved line in the middle and I'm going to draw another flower here yeah and I close uh, basically they start from this point and it finish on the other, the, this point as well so it's not going to start here it's not going to start here not at the edges of your uh, mini mouse skirt but right in the middle here yeah and then we do the legs again legs they don't go straight but one and two below the fl first flower and the other one is one and two on the other flowers. Basically, it's kind of like the stem of the flower, isn't it? So flowers, petals, and stem. Now Mickey Mouse, uh, sorry, Minnie Mouse, Topolina has got a long tail. So let's do the tails go. Whee! You can do the tail as long as you want. Yeah. Now, uh, the other hand is hiding behind her. Um, but this arm, which is the right hand side for me, is um, it's uh, basically hiding uh, just uh, behind her chest, like like uh, like in the way she's putting, you know, that the hand inside uh, inside her pocket. So, and I'm going to start here. I'm going to touch the chin, the right hand side of the chin, and I'm going to make a tiny little curved line. I'm going to leave a gap, which is about two, three centimeters. Ask your mom or daddy if you need help. And I'm going to do the other side here. Yeah. And I curve a bit and I get down. And if you see, I won't draw the hand. I'm going to do the other side as well. I'm not drawing the hand because the hand is inside the pocket. Now, on Minnie Mouse uh, skirt, I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine bubbles so nine for me but if you've got space you can do more and you can do extras yeah now my mini mouse uh, is um, is done again i use the sharpies to draw my uh, mini mouse but you use pencil yeah because um i have to use it uh, for you to let you do, to be able to see what i'm doing yeah now it's time to paint are you ready let's go right um let's do the top first and what i'm doing oh actually guys i forgot to do something very important let's take your pencil again and i forgot to do the flower so on the left hand side of the hat yeah on the top here we're going to do curve line that's the stand I leave a tiny gap and I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to draw a tiny little circle and then I start to draw the petals. You can do any flowers that you want, yeah? My one is very um, simple, but, but nice. Okay, now we're ready to paint. Um, I'm going to start to do the first here of Mickey Mouse. I'm going to get black and I put black onto my palette. So here. And I get a bit of white as well. The reason, and don't put white uh, next to the black, but leave a gap. Remember, it's always, always important to do that. I don't need much. Uh, the reason why I put some white as well, because I want to create some dark and light. Yeah. And again, let's see, let's say that the light uh, source come from this direction. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my finger. You can use any fingers that you want. I'm going to use my finger, this one here. And I start to paint with my finger. Yep, I'm going to wet. Uh, that's another reason why we need a uh, water pot. Because we need to wet the paint a bit. So let's wet the paint a little bit. I'm going to go over like this. Put a little bit of water here. So that uh, consistency has to be uh, more or less like watercolors. You know when you use watercolors, you have to use water. So basically, it's more or less like this. Otherwise, the color doesn't. Uh, it's not fluid, and it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't uh, spread around. So if you see on here, I left um, a white gap. What I do. I'm going to get some, uh, make sure that you wash your, uh, you clean your finger, or you can clean your finger using water, or you can clean your finger using the wipe, baby wipe, yeah? Okay, so I clean my finger and I get some white. 
and I'm going to start to play with the white around my white gap. Yeah, and that's it. So nice. I'm going to get a little bit more, and I spread my white a little bit. Not too much, yeah. Just a little bit like this. Right now, I'm going back to get some more black and I'm doing basically I'm doing actually before we do that the other here we're going to do that top of the head don't do inside but just go around that bit yeah and again I'm going to wipe my finger a bit and I'm going to go over yeah consistency has to be more or less like this so if you see it's quite wet so now I'm make sure that the side is not the color is not going to color in the outside of my shape but I have to make sure that the color go in yeah let's go like this and like this one as well mm. yeah a little bit more water and then do this bit so use your finger in the way that you would probably use the paintbrush yeah don't be scared don't be scared at all. So just have fun when you use your paintbrush, uh, when you use your finger, sorry. And again, I'm gonna wash my hand, make sure that it's not wet, and I, I'm, going, I'm going back to get some white. And I put some white here. Okay. A little bit here. I spread my white a little bit here as well. And if you want, you can, pull, you can help yourself with the other finger, yeah? The one which is dry and um, it's not, and it's not wet. And it can help you to spread the color a little bit more. Right, now I'm going to do the other ear, the other Mickey Mouse or Topolina here. So this one is a little bit more darker because uh, the light source is coming on that way. So this one has to be a little bit more darker than the other one. Yeah. I'm going to do like this. I'm going to get more black. It's nice. It's, it's fun when you use your finger, when you don't have to use tools all the time, but you can use actually uh, your finger to paint. It's really nice. And make sure when you use acrylic, you're not toxic. So you can use a very good acrylic from, um, from a good shop. Very good shop. So it can be, um, it can be um, anything. You know already, by the way. I'm sure you got your acrylic at home already. Now, <coughs> what I'm going to do. So the the white that you see is basically just the light going through my work. But it looks like it looks like this. Yeah. Now I'm going to get a little bit of white. Uh, make sure that you wash your hand. I'm going to get a little bit of white, and I'm going to put white a little bit like this. Not much, yeah? Just a little bit. I ran out of white. I'm going to get more white onto my palette. And I'm going to do, yeah, basically it's just like, like this. Yeah, just a little bit. Wow. Now, um, I, uh, yeah, I did, um, I did it here. I did, um, I did a um, top with the, um, the head as well. So I'm going to do the body because I still have some black left. I'm going to do the body. So I'm going to wet my finger again. I'm going to get my color and I start to color in the tummy. Yeah, I still need to get more black. I run out of black. So more black here. Yeah, make sure that your finger is um, is wet enough for your colour not to be dry but smoothly and and um, with a good, good consistency and then here we are I'm going to colour in that side as well yeah, like this I'm going to make this straight shape a little bit better now I'm gonna get some white yeah 
and I put the white on the white gap that I left without black on it. Yeah, like this. I'm gonna get a little bit of more white. Yeah. And do this. Yeah. What we're doing here is um creating an artwork, but at the same time is we're uh we're creating experiment with experimentation, yeah. So we're doing an uh, experiment with colors, with the way we can color in as well. So because it's not very traditional, so it's not we don't always paint but using finger, isn't it? But it's fun, so we can do it. Now I'm going to clean my uh, finger again, yeah, and I'm going to get um, some um, yellow. So the yellow that I got is kind of like sandy, sandy colours, the, the colour of the sand, yeah? So it's this one here. I'm going to put the colour onto my palette. Again, next, not next to the white, I'm going to leave a tiny gap and I spread the yellow here. I'm going to make sure that my um, finger is not too, it's not dirty, there's not any black left. And I'm going to get my sandy colour and I start colouring the face of my Mickey Mouse. Mini Mouse, sorry, Topolina. Yeah, and I'm going to do like this. Like this. Yeah, don't colour in the uh, eyes. Don't go inside the eyes. Spread the colour as much as you can. Yeah, and you can create some lighter colours, you can create light and dark again. So I'm going to put some light, more more colour here and maybe less in the middle. I'm going to spread the colour a little bit lighter in the middle because again we got, we got the sun um, and the light coming from that way. So here can be a little bit darker. Here as well, yep. And I'm not going to color in inside the mouth because, of course, we're going to use um, a different color. Yep. Now this one is extra, so let me just clean. If you need to clean something bit because there is a mistake, just take it off, and that's fine. I'm going to make a, uh, some dark, um, some part looking a little bit darker, and I'm going to add more yellow. Just a little bit, just around like this. Not everywhere, but just um, just some somewhere here and there. Yep. That's it. That's enough. Right now, I'm going to put a little bit of white even here. So I'm going to clean my hand, and then I'm going to put a little bit of white alongside the chin, and maybe a little bit here as well. Now I'm going to wash my finger again, yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of more white onto my palette, we won't use white straight away, and um, I'm going to get uh, black uh, in my hand um, again, so what I'm going to do with black, I'm going to colour in the nose, yeah, do, 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 do. so I colour the nose of Minnie Mouse, my Topolina, yeah. Right, and also what I'm doing with that, I'm, I'm colouring, I colour that um, the arm. Okay. All the arm, all the way down. You can press your finger a bit more if you want. And you, again, you can uh, press the colour a little bit harder and lighter when you need to create a light and contrast here. Yeah? So again, I need some white. I'm going to wash my hand, clean my finger first, and then I'm going to get some white. And I put a little bit of white here and there. Yeah, and that's it. Not more than this. Cool. Now, um, with black, I, I, I clean my finger anyway, but just a bit. With the black, I'm going to finishing the leg, the two legs and the tail as well. So I'm going to do the leg first. Yeah, because I still have black onto my palette before before it's gonna dry, it's gonna get dry. I'm gonna make you know I'm gonna make sure that 
I use it for the leg. Yep, my finger is a bit wet, so I'm going to get some more water to easy to spread the color around. I run out of black. I'm going to get a little bit more black, and I'm going to go on the other side. Yeah, and you can create, you know, um, strokes when you when you use your paintbrush, you create that lovely uh, strokes with your uh, paint um, paintbrush. So that's what you can do. And I'm going to do the other side as well. Yeah. Play with your finger. You can use, uh, you know, your finger in any way you want. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of black uh, again, and I'm going to put white. Uh, sorry, white. And I'm going to put white on the two sides of Mickey Mouse legs. So that's the light source. That's the light. Um, good, good, good. Um, now with black again, I'm going to get black. And I stopped colouring the Mickey Mouse tail. Doesn't matter if your uh, finger is too big uh, compared to the shape, yeah? Because what you can do so far, yeah, uh, you can fix the shape by using paintbrush. I show you the way how to do it, yeah? So let me get a little bit of more black, tiny bit, because I think we don't really need to use black anymore, yeah? I'm going to do like this, yep, and again I'm going to colour in that, I'm finishing to colour the uh, tail, yeah, and i show you the way to use the paintbrush to uh, complete your artwork uh, and make your artwork looking a bit better and straight, yeah, so if you take your paintbrush, um, it's better to use, um, if you remember, I show you a different, uh, different type of paintbrush. We got the flat paintbrush and we got the pointed one. So we take the pointed um, one, yeah, this one here. And we, we take some black or any color that we need to um, use to make your shapes looking better. And we go all on your work and we, we just, yeah, we just make sure that we adjust the lines a bit better. So like this. Yeah, that's what we can do. You just go around the edges of your um, shape and and then the shape come back as good as it was at the beginning. Yeah. Make sure that your paintbrush is 50-50, so 50% of water, 50% of yeah so that's the way you can um, basically adjust your um, artwork even here so you just make a straight line in there yeah that's it okay and you can do uh, these kind of technique everywhere uh, on your uh, artwork okay so I'm moving ahead and I'm doing um, I'm doing them um, I'm doing the skirt now yeah and I'm getting this lovely blue. So you can use any blue uh, that you have. Again, I'm gonna leave a uh, gap in between um, between the colors and I put my blue on here. Okay. That's the blue that I choose. It's a light blue. And I start to go, yeah, around the bubble shapes. Yeah, I'm done coloring the bubble shapes. And I tell you um, I tell you why. Because basically the bubble shapes they looks uh, they have to be colored um, on a different using a different color. So we can use a different color for that. And again you can use um, different direction of um, it's not it's not your paintbrush, but it's your finger. So you can uh, use a different direction of your uh, of using your finger. So you can go a little bit like curved around the balloon. Yeah, make sure that your uh, finger again is quite is quite wet to allow the color to move and go nicely around your around your shapes. Yeah, that's really nice. 
but Mickey Mouse she's gonna be really happy because once we finished uh, to coloring her I'm sure she's going to meet she's going to meet meet um, Mickey Mouse they're going out for dinner maybe I know we're not allowed to do it but they might live in a different world it's a cartoon world isn't it so they might be able to go out yep and then we go a little bit around that shape as well yeah if you see creating like a um, spirals around around my uh, balloon shape it makes them um, um, the, um, the skirt looking even better because it, it's uh, it's kind of like a, it's creating kind of like a 3d effect and creating kind of like a movement of the skirt isn't it now I'm gonna wash my finger again make sure that your finger is well uh, clean I'm going to get more white yeah and with white I'm gonna play yeah around the shape of my um balloons bubbles i know yeah i'm gonna put uh, white a little bit here and there i'm gonna just wet my finger again yeah i'm gonna put white uh, maybe not too much on the on the left hand side but on the right side because again what we said before the light source is coming from that direction so make sure that we got more white on the right hand side yeah okay so wash 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 your finger and we're going to we're going to nearly at the end yeah so what we're going to do now we need to get some red and yellow okay put red and yellow onto your palette yeah now the yellow i'm going to use is a different one that i used uh, before so that's the that's not the sandy color that's a light yellow um uh, i haven't got any gut uh i haven't got any gut um here and uh, around on my palette so i'm going to put it next to my uh, red but make sure that you always got you know gaps in between so what i'm doing now i'm going to color in the um, flower i'm start to color in the petals first and each petals is red i'm going to do the other one yeah and then i'm going to do my other petals and my other one again now with the same red I colored I'm going to color in the hat yeah so I'm gonna make a, a nice lovely red hat for my Topolina Minnie Mouse okay and then here's one and voila that's so nice and the top of the hat I'm going to wet my finger a bit. Yeah. And the hat tip then. I ran out of red, so I'm going to get a little bit of more red. Now I'm colouring the rest of the hat, the top of this. And with the same red, I'm going to colour in the tongue, because the tongue is red, isn't it? So make sure that you're not going on out of you can use your little finger for that i think it's better because your little finger help you to make you know to color in the little uh sh the little shape yeah then clean um my red went out of the shape but it's all right you just clean a bit and that's it um if you see because my i use my dirty dirty uh t-shirt so uh, baby wipes I got a little bit of black out of mine um, my tongue so what I'm going to do I'm going to put some white and it will disappear yes cool 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 now with black going back to black yeah we uh, actually no let's do something first yeah I'm gonna go back to my um, yellow um, so with yellow I'm going to yeah close it on the top of the flower yeah so in the middle sorry in the middle on the little circle 
And again, so I wash my finger and I'm going to use white. I'm going to create again, I'm going to, go, I'm going to create some uh, light. And I do it here, 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 and a little bit here as well. And on the hat, so I'm going to do a little bit here. I'm spreading the colors a bit, like this, and like this one as well. Yep, good. Now I'm going to put a little bit of more white onto my um, little mouse here. Good. Uh, we have a few more things left. So I'm going to wash my finger again. And we black, if you don't have any black left onto your palette, you can put a tiny little bit, not much, because what we need to do with your little finger, it has to be your little finger, yeah, because we need to be careful with that. We're going to colour in uh, the inside of the eye. A little circle inside. One and two. We wash the little finger, yeah, and we're going to get, but we, with, with this, we're going to use the paint brush. We're going to get white, and we put some white here and here. So we create two tiny little white dots, yeah. Now we have one more thing left, and for this, I have a special paint brush. Yeah, it's more like a sponge brush. And it looks like this. It's rounded at the end. You can take, uh, you can um, find it everywhere. So if you don't have it, keep going with your finger. So I show you two ways to do it. I'm going to use my finger first. I'm going back. Make sure you wash your finger. Yeah, your finger is nice and clean, more or less nice and clean. Doesn't matter, but make sure it's dry. Uh, I'm going to get red, and I start to color in the bubbles. Yeah. Or using your finger like this, or what you can do, yeah, with a sponge brush, which is this, I'm gonna directly get the colours and I'm gonna do like this. Whoa, I'm gonna make sure that is a little bit wet, and there is more colour on my palette as well. So one, oh, not too watery, otherwise that's what happened. Yeah, make sure it's not too watery. Dry your uh, mm, sponge brush onto your um, onto your tissue. Yeah, and then you go back to get colours. So I'm going to do. Wow, look at that! That's really cool. Yeah, and press, 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 press. Get the colour and go and press, 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 press. Get the colour and press, 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 and get the colour and press, 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 press. Yeah. So that's so nice. So Minnie Mouse is uh, ready as well. So it's done as well. So if you want, you can do uh, using a big paint brush. So a big paint brush like this. You can do the background. What I suggest you to do, the uh, background you can choose. Uh, it has to be quite light because we got plenty of black of Mickey Mouse uh, drawing. So we can wet your paint brush. We get the yellow. The yellow that you have left, or if you don't have any yellow left, the light one, light yellow, you can put yellow onto your palette, yeah, put more yellow onto your palette, put quite a load of water, it has to be more water than colour, yeah, and then I show you, I won't finish all the background, but I show you what we can do, so we're going to do, yeah, with yellow, again it has to be more water than colour, of like watercolor so we're going to do all the background in yellow so that's what we do let's get more oops let's get more color here yeah and do 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 yep let me make sure that it's quite it's quite yeah basically it has to be like this i don't know if you're able to see but it's quite watery is it and i'm going to spread my color a little bit everywhere Make sure that you're not going to overlap your black, otherwise the yellow, it becomes green or really, really dark yellow. So I'm going to go over here, here and there, yeah, and I carry on to do all the background in yellow. You can, you can actually choose to use different colours as well, so just see what you've got on your paint, uh, paint palette. And play with the color that you have left onto your palette. Yeah? So I'm gonna make an example here on my artwork. 
for example, I got some, um, I'm going to wash my paintbrush, make sure there's not any yellow left. I'm going to get my blue, make sure that the blue is not too dark. It has to be quite waterish as well. And I'm going to do the blue here. Yeah, it has to be quite watery again, yeah? So I got, I got a nice, a nice um, colored black background. Yeah, I'm gonna join just the edges of my yellow, yeah? And if you want the top, if you have any red left, yeah, mix, mix, mix the red with um, water and you can do it's kind of like purple, yeah, but even it, it's fine, it doesn't matter. So with this purple, we can end that, in finishing that top of that background. Yep, and I'm gonna do actually here as well. Here, and what else here? We have this and that. Yep, so this is all of it today, so I hope you enjoy it, and um, so thanks for watching, and I see you next time. So if you, uh, please, share your artwork, yeah, uh, let me see what you do with mommy and uh, daddy on your own, so it's, uh, uh, that's entirely up to you, but please share your work on my channel page. Thank you so much, have a good day, Mwah. bye!